So hi, Microbe Hunter here again and today I'd like uh, to talk about um, one of the maybe most hotly debated topics in the field of amateur microscopy and that is uh, should you buy yourself a new microscope or should you buy yourself a used refurbished microscope uh, if both of them cost uh, the same uh, amount of money. So I'll read off uh, the question first and then I'll give you my opinion on this issue. So here is the question. Do you think it's a better choice uh, to go for a good conditioned you? branded microscope or a Swift Stellar 1 or other similar model. Both uh, are compa uh, comparable in price so I'm not sure which is the better option. Thanks. Well thank you uh, for the question <laughs> and I think uh, this is not an easy answer of course so what I'll do is I'll talk about the pros and the cons of, uh, of uh, either um, option here. So in short, should you buy yourself a new microscope? Uh, like for example, this here is the Swift Stellar One. I mean, it comes in two different uh, 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 flavors. The Pro version has uh, infinity optics and the standard version has uh, the traditional 160 millimeter system. So that is uh, basically a new microscope. And over here, what do I have here? Here, this one is uh, from the 1980s. I think late 1970s, early 1980s. Um, the Olympus CH uh, microscope model. So this is a brand model and uh, this microscope here, even though it's over 40 years old, um, I had it uh, refurbished um, by a an authorized uh, Olympus uh, service uh, shop and it works just like on day one. Um, so what is the better option now, considering that both of them, um, yeah, let's say, um, yeah, have the same price. Um, my answer that I'm going to give you now is a little bit different uh, these days in 2022 <laughs> right now than if the answer that I would have given you maybe uh, 10 years ago. Um, 10 years ago I would have said go for the refurbished model definitely because uh, you get more value out of this. I mean it, it worked fine for 40 years so why should it not work fine for another 40 years? Yeah? Um, and the optics are excellent um, so there are no issues here. Um, these days however in the last 10 years or so uh, more and more uh, microscope brands uh, came up and became popular um, that are offering also affordable um, new microscopes so, like for example this one over here and uh, there are many other possibilities as well. And those uh, new microscopes are generally made in China. Uh, that in itself is not, not an issue really. Um, but there is one fundamental difference. And the difference is, is that um, if you buy yourself a, a new microscope out of the box, uh, from my experience, at least up to this point, there is one main issue with those. And that is, is not that the quality is not okay, but that is the whole issue of service. Um, yeah, what happens if you want uh, to get something repaired here? I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that microscopes really break easily, they don't. But occasionally you might have to get a repair uh, done. <clears throat> and, and the question is, is now, uh, where do you get it done? Um, and the thing is, is uh, what about replacement parts? So that is the issue. Um, it doesn't even have to be a replacement part. Let's say that you would like to exchange one of those infinity objectives here. Let's say I would like to get a 20 times objective or a 60 times objective and the microscope doesn't come with that. Um, are, you able to, uh, are you able to get those objectives or not? Um, so these are the, the issues uh, rather um, and um, with the traditional model um, there is a sometimes a huge second hand market available um, where you can essentially configure the microscope um, yeah, pretty much any way you want. For example I added phase contrast. So I went to eBay I bought myself a phase contrast uh, condenser here and phase contrast optics. Um, all of them used. I'm not saying that it was cheap. Okay, it was actually quite expensive, um, but I mean, this is basically the was the state of the art back uh, 30 or 40 years ago, um, and uh, it worked fine at that time. Uh, people used it for research and for education and 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 whatever, um, and for routine microscopy. So why shouldn't it also work right now? Okay, so this is uh, basically I think a, a fundamental difference in in, in philosophy here um, that uh, and I mentioned this also in in some other of my videos that I made. Um, I, we wanted to buy around 16 microscopes uh, for a school uh, where I work in, and and I said is we don't need the optics. Okay, uh, just give us the body, and and we'll just reuse the optics to save a little bit of money. It wasn't even available. Um, they didn't even sell that. It says it's because it comes finished from China in a box, and that's what you buy. And uh, um, with branded microscopes. Uh, that are second hand. Um, ultimately you s can put it together yourself uh, because there is a second hand market available. So that is I would say a fundamental difference. Um, however there are um, also a couple of other issues that I simply want to say and that is the following. 
you see, it's not really a question alone. It's um, yeah, branded and used or modern and, 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 uh, and new and not used. I think that is not really the main issue because there's so many other factors that play a role. I mean, if it's a good uh, branded model that you get for a very low price, honestly, uh, of course, it's, it's great. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, in, you have to be careful that just because it's used, it does not mean that it's automatically cheaper. So, for example, if you just uh, go on eBay, for example, and uh, if you search for the Olympus B8, H series, um, which was very popular also uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It was one of those uh, very common uh, microscopes at that time. The Olympus BH2, for example, I mean, this can be quite expensive, can cost, uh, uh, yeah, even though it's used, uh, approximately the same price as some of, or more expensive than some of the new microscopes. Yeah? So you see, um, there are some other issues as well. Um, in, like, for example, if you have parts that you want to reuse and if you kind of build up your own ecosystem, there are some amateur microscopists out there who basically say, okay, I'm going to specialize on, I don't know, Zeiss microscopes or Olympus microscopes or whatever. Um, and then they basically um, they collect a parts um, that um, and are able to assemble their own microscope then yeah so if this is what you want to do then probably the the more um, yeah, getting used uh, used microscope is probably the better option if you say okay i just uh, don't want to do that i just want to do nature observation right out of the box then i would say that uh, you're probably also going to be fine with a, a new microscope okay so um and very much depends of course on the individual configuration and on the individual model generally i say if there is a controversy um like this and where there are pro and con arguments and especially if you check the web forums and some some of the debates can get quite heated and emotional then this is probably an indicator that there is no single objective criterion and that much is a question of taste okay if your intention is, is to kind of resell the microscope later on okay then probably it's better uh, to go for a um, for a branded model yeah because uh, the um, the market for those branded models is simply higher um, new models they don't really have a lot of a resale value and i have not seen a lot of uh, models that are being resold because honestly um, if you buy this let's say for 500 or 600 euros um, for what how much are you going to resell it i mean you're not going to get a lot yeah? um, so this is uh, also another factor that um, plays a little bit uh, a role here another uh, maybe more um, yeah, direct uh, advantage of a used model is something that you can see up here um, yeah this is a dslr adapter yeah, which uh, from the same company, um, it contains a so-called a reduction, um, so-called an eyepiece, a photo projection eyepiece. I'm just going to show you. Okay, and here it is. Okay, photo projection eyepiece, and then you can connect a, a camera, a DSLR camera here on top. Okay, and this is a system that was designed, of course, by the company. And those eyepieces that you have in here um, from the same company, those projection eyepieces, are so-called compensating eyepieces. So this means that it corrects the lens errors uh, that the objective produces. So what happens here is, is that you're getting a really good image quality. And uh, it's not cheap, the whole thing, yeah? the, the whole system. Yeah? Um, and however, um, I have had problems getting a decent adapter for the modern microscopes because they're all designed to connect a microscope camera up here, uh, and not a DSLR. So there are some DSLR adapters around but they were not really satisfactory. I mean, I also made videos on this uh, issue. Yeah? So you see that um, that uh, yeah, some time ago, uh, yeah, they kind of uh, yeah, had a complete uh, system available, um, like the one over here, and it worked great. Um, and um, that's why I would say it's, it, it, it's almost ideal, you know, if you want to connect a DSLR camera. It's kind of bulky, yeah, I, I get it, uh, but the image quality is extremely good. Yeah? And um, with the modern microscopes, I had some problems connecting uh, cameras because, yeah, of course, there are DSLR lower camera adapters around but um, you know, the, the image quality simply isn't isn't uh, yeah isn't as, as good so you see there is simply no um, a simple single answer to this question and my overall um, final <laughs> recommendation is is a lot is a question of personal preference it's a hobby after all for most of us right um, and uh, we like microscopes and if you're more maybe on the technical side that you like to uh, do some microscope maintenance um, then go for the traditional one because there are also service companies available that might be able to fix those there are even instruction manuals on um, on how to take uh, the, the focus system apart you can download those uh, however with the new ones there is a service I would say is probably not worth 
said, um, and um, yeah, how are you going to do that? I don't know how to take it apart. There is no um, yeah service personnel available. Yeah, so you see the philosophy is a little bit different. I want to talk a little bit about the history of this microscope over here, uh, how I got it, um, and it's like this that I got the microscope body um, um, for free because it was not functioning anymore. Yeah, so um, it was kind of uh, discarded. And why was it not functioning? Because the lubrication oil in the focusing system okay uh, became solid that's something normal that happens over the years um, the lubrication becomes uh, more and more solid and it was really not difficult to turn it was almost impossible to turn uh, because it really um, it, the, it, the gears got kind of got locked because the oil was so hard so I basically went uh, to uh, the, the service uh, company for Olympus and um, I gave it uh, the microscope to them and uh, after a few days I got it back um, and I had it completely disassembled, cleaned, re-lubricated, re everything fine, like new and it cost me 200 euros. Okay, simply the service. Uh, for 200 euros you can almost, uh, almost already get a new microscope. Yeah. Um, so was it worth it? Yes, it was worth worth it. <laughs> okay, because the value now is, is much higher than that. Yeah? Uh, not that I want to sell it again, but still. Um, then I went on eBay. Um, I've got myself some phase contrast optics. Okay, um, a phase contrast condenser, 300 euros. Yeah, um, I got myself this one up here. Okay, uh, again costs some money. Yeah, so you see, um, uh, just because um, it's a used microscope does not really um, yeah, mean that it's going to be significantly cheaper. Um, but I mean, overall, the overall value, I mean, I could, I don't know, go out and probably sell this one whole system here. Maybe if I sell it for a thousand or a thousand two hundred, maybe I'm still going to find people who are willing to pay for this. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm not, not that I'm going to do that, but uh, I just wanted to show you that this whole um, concept of reselling a used microscope after it's been refurbished is a thing. Okay. Um, and there is a certain market segment for that as well. Well, this one over here, for example yeah um, yeah nice out of the box uh, very great um, but um, yeah I recently got a question from one of my viewers um, can you get a replacement LED for this one yeah and the company said no you can't we don't sell it yeah uh, because uh, the company just rebranded the microscope but actually came, comes from China um, I mean I did some some googling and I did find uh, some replacement LEDs after uh, after all um, so you, you, know, you basically have to find alternative solutions here so but you see the, the, the philosophy is, is quite different but then you really get one, um, a functioning good microscope out of the box um, basically which you can use directly for observation and if it's a used one and you buy it over eBay you don't know what you're getting you know and uh, if you say some people say okay that's fine uh, because um, I'll just fix it myself and I'll exchange the optics here I mean that's also an advantage here if you basically replace the optics you have new optics as well yeah, because it's a 160 millimeter system so you see um, what do you want to do yeah, are you more the hands-on type of person um, that would like to dig in deep into microscopy also on the hardware aspect then you probably also want to buy maybe a, a used model um, and uh, then it takes a little bit more time until you've got all the parts together um, or you just do you just want to do uncomplicated nature observation out of the box then I would say seriously also consider maybe getting a new one okay yeah so that's basically it um, yeah so no clear answer uh, or no single answer at least uh, to your question um, I'm sure that there are many um, of you viewers also have opinions. I'm not saying that uh, my opinions are the only ones here that uh, should be applied, but please post comments, uh, maybe the different aspects as well. Um, and I know that this is usually is a very hot and debated topic. Um, and for some people, uh, yeah, even that I've read, uh, modern microscopes are simply completely out of the question because yeah, microscopes should last an eternity. And uh, the microscopes that were made uh, several decades ago were built to last almost an eternity, okay? Serviceable, they were made serviceable and uh, that's something that um, these days, uh, because of the fast production and the low cost production, I think it was many modern microscopes, this is not so much the case. My opinion, uh, please do post your own opinion uh, in the comments section. Happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.